Lawn Smith and in this video I'm going to show you how to use a knapsack sprayer for lawn treatments. If you need to get yourself a knapsack sprayer, do get a professional one. One like this doesn't cost the earth but it is extremely robust. You've got all the spares that you could possibly need and most importantly you can change the nozzle which is this bit here. It goes in the end of the lance. Being able to change the nozzle means you can use your sprayer for different purposes from spraying shrubs, trees, roses around the greenhouse and driveway and of course the lawn. For the lawn you need this particular nozzle here which is what we call the deflector nozzle. It gives you a nice wide spray pattern which makes it perfect for spraying weed killer, soluble fertilizer and ferrous sulfate. Though most products that you're going to use don't require much personal protection, it is a good idea to be wearing some wellies on the lawn and I like to wear a pair of nitrile gloves, a pair of rubber gloves will do fine, particularly if you're dealing with ferrous sulphate. First time you're going to use your knapsack sprayer for lawn treatments, I would suggest you have a practice on the driveway first with some clean water. And then finally, before going on the lawn, do check the weather. You need a nice, calm, dry day before spraying chemicals on the lawn. Okay, let's go and do some spraying. Here we are on the lawn. Um, in an earlier video, I showed you how to make up your mixture. So what we're looking to do now is to get it actually on the grass. Now, because I'm not going to be able to see where I've sprayed, I've got two one metre long sticks to use as aiming markers. If I hold my lance at the right height off the lawn, then the spray is one metre wide. So that's my first strip going down the lawn. My second strip is going to be here when I come back. So now I've got an aiming marker. So all I need to do before I go down the lawn is spray the patch that I'm standing on and then gently pump and walk down the lawn, steady pace, don't need to rush anything. Right, take a step to the left and that will put me in line with the marker behind me and I'll take another step and then I've got the marker in for it in the right place for when I come back down the lawn. Once again, start off, nice steady pace, keep the pumping steady, watch the height of the boom and I'm just going to pull up short before these bushes here because what I don't want to do, I don't want to get any spray on those at all. So I've taken one step to get myself in line with the marker at the other end of the lawn. I take another step and that's my aiming marker when I come back, spray my starting area and then off I go again down the lawn. And you're just going to keep doing this up and down the lawn until you're finished and you may need several refills as you go. We finished the first spray of the lawn apart from this last strip. Now unfortunately this last strip now is less than a meter wide. It's going to happen to you an awful lot when you're spraying the lawn that it never quite works out right. So all I need to do to protect the bushes on the side here and make sure I get some spray in is just tilt the lance to the side and as you can see it's going to put most of my spray straight the way down and spray the wet rest quite widely across the lawn. Now this might mean that you've missed some weeds along the edge there but all I need to do is to grab hold of a ready to use weed killer in a couple of weeks time because what you'll notice is that the weeds along the edge are still alive and healthy. Those are the ones just to give a quick zap to and basically you're done with killing the weeds in the lawn. Now I finished my first spray of the lawn and I've only used a third of my total mixture. To get the best from liquid lawn products we really need to give everything a good soaking to get maximum contact. So that means putting enough water in your mixture so that you spray the lawn several times. Now in this instance I'm going to spray the lawn three times so all I need to do now is keep spraying and perhaps have some refills as well until I've used up the whole mixture. For my second spray, I'm going to go back exactly the way I came and then when I come down to the third spray, I'm more than likely going to go across the lawn. So I'm going to start here, put my marker in and once again tilt the lance a little bit and up the lawn I go, watching the bushes and this puts me in line with the marker at the other end again. So take a step out and that puts the marker in for when I want to come back and tilt the lance because I'm on the edge and then I can straighten the lance out, steady pace, watch the height of the boom and you're going to keep spraying until you've done the second spray and then as I say 
go crossways across the lawn if you want for the third spray. Now, at some point, you are going to run out of mixture. If you run out just a little bit less or short on the third spray, then next time you come to make up your mixture, just add a little bit more water to it. If you end up with a little bit too much, then you're as good as you're going to get. But if you end up with quite a lot of water left in the tank after you've done your third spray, still go and spray it on the lawn, but next time reduce the amount of water that you put in your mixture. Don't change the amount of product you use, just the amount of water. So that's us done. I'm going to carry on spraying the lawn. Thanks for watching The Lawnsmith.